What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 49th episode of the Balanced Business Podcast. As always, it's Nico, Larissa, and Justine here. And today we have a very interesting topic as we move into the uh, new year. Team, what's our best advice for marketing in 2023? What's going on? Well, we really wanted to focus today on how to set your agency up for success in the new year. So I want to just give a couple tips and tricks. Uh, I'll go ahead and start. I have a couple. The first one would definitely be make sure all of your lists are cleaned. Um, All of your data, make sure you're going through it, especially everybody you've met with in this last year. Put them all on a spreadsheet. Take out anybody who you know is bad fit. Keep everybody in there who is, you know, a potential potential future client, maybe somebody you did close, uh, people you've worked with in the past. Make sure you have some really good lists to start out your marketing with in the new year to reach back out to those people and kind of rekindle those relationships in whatever way kind of works best for you. Um, Great options might be good uh, database reactivation email sequences or LinkedIn messages. Uh, Those are good ways to do that. And I would probably start there. That's always a good piece. Um, other agency pieces, much more on the off side, figure out where it is you spent the most time this year and automate as many pieces of that as you can. Just save yourself as much time and effort this next year as you can. Uh, that's always going to save you money. It's going to just make your life a lot easier. It's going to take things off your plate, allow you to focus on other things. And then my final one would just make sure all of your finances and everything are in check. If you need bookkeeping services, make sure you find a good provider for that. We use Bench, would definitely recommend it. Um, Make sure that you just have everything nice and buttoned up for the new year. Nico, what tips do you have for agency owners to set their agency for success next year? Yeah, so he talked about database recognition, which is always big to me. But uh, for me, it's like, Candidly, it's it's one one niche, one offer, one medium, right? So like next year, as you move into the new year, what is that one niche that you're going to focus on with a specific offer, right? And how are you going to pick one medium, either ads, email, quote calling, whatever that is, to actually write that, right? I've been really inspired by the fact that, um, you know, through multiple books and podcasts and just uh, community members to say that most people are going, 17 different routes and they're trying to do a lot of things when in reality it's the basics that usually if you just focus on that um, you're going to go much further so one niche right if it's uh, let's say you're an agency and you're targeting local services right is it HVAC plumbing uh, roofers whatever that is like pick one person in there uh, focus on one offer to them right get them more book calls help them convert more people from their website wh- whatever that is establish that and then one medium it's going to cold call them run ads email linkedin doesn't matter pick one and then execute it for one year and you'll be surprised by like even just the sheer amount of focus and then content and ideas that you will have around it how fast like things actually move so that's my biggest advice it's just like niche sounds boring but super powerful yeah, for sure. And you guys can't hear Justine because she's having some audio issues, but she went ahead and read out her response here for us. And I'll go ahead and read that. Um, so for content, make sure you're researching where your audience is active online and prep content for those platforms. Pre-record podcast episodes, for example, or pre-write blogs that you can use going into the new year. Create a system for creating content to save yourself time next year. So that can even look like taking kind of more like the Gary Vee model of long form content like blogs or long videos, breaking them down into smaller videos, text posts, all these things and spreading it across that con- that platform. But make sure most of your energy is focused on the one where your audience actually is. Um, don't post, for example, to Reddit if you are really reaching out to people who aren't on Reddit. There's no point. So, you know, make sure you know who you're reaching out to, where you're publishing, and uh, the content you create should also have a lot of substance, but you don't need to kill yourself making it. Just structure it well, and you'll be fine. I love it. So, I mean, there's a ton of different things that you, like, need to do, but just focus on, like, one thing, right? Focus on things that move the needle, the 20% that will get you 80% of the outcome. And hopefully, we're hoping nothing but success for your agency in 2023 and beyond. So 
with that, we're going to wrap it up. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you guys in the next podcast. Peace.